I know I say this every uh, Friday, but hey, somehow I made it to the end of the week, and I'm uh, here to congratulate you on that. And uh, here we are, Fridays, GeoGuessr. I had a suggestion to do United Kingdom as another one. Uh, there was kind of an amalgamation as far as uh, what I'm going to do for GeoGuessr uh maps and as always if you have any suggestions put them in the comments below i will take them add them to the queue definitely think about and or consider doing them and this is no different so here we are doing united kingdom for today just because the idiot test whatever the hell you wanted to call it worked so well last time i am here to because i felt like um, i'm gonna prove how well i do well, we've got York here, so I feel like we're up here. And I'm maybe established or at least proved my ability to geoguess very obviously obvious obviousnessness. I mean my diction's awful, but I think I've at least made my point. Either way, here we are. Uh doing something in the United Kingdom as I'm trying to find this goddamn road, which I can't See, I found York, but I'm not finding Beverly anywhere. Anyway, I've also taken the steps to write things down because I want to talk about things, and I think I've got things to talk about this time. Uh, Beverly, and, oh, we're going to get a bunch of these beeps, and I, I can't help it. They're just going to pop up. Where is Beverly? Uh, finish the book. If you're not entirely aware, I have a list of things I'm doing for well we've got york so beverly should be before it so i feel like we're on the m62 m62 i don't know what you brits call it uh i got another thing i'm gonna write it down after i shut up i'm gonna i'm gonna put us down there because i have a feeling we might be close if not you'll forgive me i've never been to your country before or the island it's on the list of things to do but finish the book, and among many things I'm going to uh, do this year as far as resolutions, if you want to call them that, is city center. So we are near a city, which makes me feel like Leeds, potentially. I don't know. I really don't. Uh, I'm going to read a book a month. That's one of the things I'm going to do, along with reading a book a month. Uh, I'm going to hike a mountain a month. And every week I will uh, listen to a new album. I'm going to cover all of those things as best I can. It's Sutton. Am I missing a thing? I don't feel I am. I feel like I'm around here somewhere. Well, what is this? I got a minute left. And I finished, uh, what was it called? Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Gaiman, I don't know, he's another Brit. So, hey, how about that? Themes. Never read any of his books before. Again, I've mentioned that. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about doing with these books is just everyone seems to really like certain... We got Cottingham. Is, is this... Am I near it? Why am I not finding this? This is driving me nuts. And... Uh, this kind of covered a couple of bases because I was looking for anything that had to do with Norse mythology because for a short time last year, I did stream God of War and it made me very interested in Norse mythology. And I don't really know that much about it. So I got a book and uh, what was it called? Like Norse and Norse mythology or something like that. It was pretty good, a little dry. And this was also recommended as well, where this is just basically Neil Gaiman writing stories and myths from... Oh, so I was... Quite a bit off. Oh, Cottingham's over there. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of points off. Well, maybe it's because they've shortened the distance. It could be that. Either way, um, I didn't know that was a thing you could do, where you can limit the scope of the map. Can I actually? Yeah, I can, so it doesn't matter. Well, we're going to zoom in because we're on the island here. And this whole thing is just about... Um, Whoa. Okay. It's just about... Then we go back to this. Uh, him just basically telling Norse myth, myth, mythology. And uh wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. 
Uh, very quick read. I think a little bit has to do with Minsterworth, huh? Are we like here? I really don't know. Uh, I'm hoping I can find like a road sign somewhere. That's really all I'm going on now. Um, went by fast. I mean, I'm reading like a chapter a night and I didn't read, I haven't read that much as maybe I'd like to, hence why I'm doing this, uh, um, I guess you can call it resolution, whatever. And I'm more impressed about how much I can read or the average human. Wow, a lot of people die in this road. Jesus, people. What's wrong with you Brits and your crazy driving? We got the A48. Wow, I feel like I'm very close. I don't know how your road system works, but why am I always like a, a, a number off whenever I do these? A48, here we are. So let me uh, move up a bit, try to find that town again. Anyway, very surprised how much I can read just be ugh, just because I don't I stayed out of practice basically. Uh, but if you're looking for a quick little read about uh, anything having to do with uh, Minsterworth, look at that. Evident, ugh. If you're looking for anything that will uh, get you, I guess, acquainted with. Uh, Norse mythology, this is a pretty good thing. It's it's very introductory in that sense. Uh give it a read. It's very quick. Uh fast read. That's that's I don't know how much more I can recommend or whatnot for this book. I mean if you don't know anything about Neil Gaiman, this I don't know this I don't feel that this is a very good introduction to his style of writing. Uh I didn't feel like I it's like, oh, I can see how his style or affect or effect, whatever you want to call it. Hearts traditional turkey. Where are these turkeys? I need to see these turkeys before I leave. Where are they? I don't see you. But yeah, if you don't know anything about it, um, mythology, or you want to maybe just get your feet with, with the way he writes, again, I don't know. Give it a read. It's quick. It's good. I don't know how expensive it is, wherever you're going to get it, but there's my recommendation. It's a Eh, okay, it's good. Uh, now, for the album, I don't think I've mentioned what I've listened to this week. Um, I'll give this... This one's a quick one. Uh, it's kind of like a compilation remaster of this guy. I don't know. I mean, this is all things I'd listen on Spotify. If you're looking for where to find these, it's Baresto, or B-A-R-R-E-S-T-O, I believe is his name. And it's an album called 1110 Remasters, something like that. And it's just like... EPs that he put out, which are like two or three songs a piece. I mean, maybe that's what EPs are. I've never really known. Uh, all of the albums just that he's put out through the years just into one, and there's some bangers. They slap or clap. I don't know. I don't know your nomenclature, kids. Just know it's a pretty good album, and I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, it's a good album. Go out and check it if you like electronic. I mean, you you, you listen to any of the songs in there, you'll understand this is. The entire album is that there's you'll very qu whoa you'll very much understand what it is the second you uh, start listening to it. If it's not your thing, it will not change. Queen Elizabeth Country Park. I'm going to sneeze, but I'm going to try to fight it by not thinking about sneezing. And I did it. Mind over matter, folks. So that's the album for the week. It's pretty good if you like that stuff. Now moving on. Uh, this feels countryside. I don't know where they keep fans in Britain. Maybe like in this area. Just doesn't look very, uh, inhabited. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, United Kingdom, I'm assuming it's the United Kingdom. But this still feels, it's Queen Elizabeth, so, uh, at least England. Although this is Scottish Power Renewables in Line Myth. Are we like up here? Should I click like here? Is Line Myth a thing? Or is Scottish Power... Oh, wait, wait. Scottish Power... Oh, it's just renewables. I read that already. My memory is non-existent. Um, so what are your plans for the weekend, folks? Gonna do anything fun? 
I have mine set. The other thing I plan on doing every month is hike a mountain, and that is what I am doing this weekend. Uh, it's the warmest it's been all year today, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, am I going to find this road? What are these up here? The 90s. Um, do I go down here? Linton? Hello? Where are the thousands? I don't know. Do I have to zoom in more to find it? I don't know how your road system works here. It seems, well, we've got 1041, 35. I'm going to hike that over the weekend, and it's going to be a bit weird because uh, it's going to be even hotter tomorrow, but then we're going to revert 20 or 30 degrees Fahrenheit. You guys do the math. I don't care. We'll just say we're going from 50, which is what, like 10, and we're going to go down to negative 60. I mean, I'm not going to do the math. I don't care. It's just going to be weird having like that two straight days of melting, and then we're going to go straight into freezing again. It's going to be fun. These next couple of months, as far as hiking, are going to be like, okay, I'm going to be dressed for spring, basically, and the, about halfway up the mountain will be like, oh, I'm freezing my ass off because there's still snow everywhere. I feel like I'm over here, but I'm not, I'm not like, finding it any close. Like, this feels like it's the area. Or is it like this level? How does your road system work, you silly country? Oh, 1065, we're down here. Ha ha. I thought you could get away from me, huh? Linton, look for Linton. I'm not seeing it anywhere. I got 30 seconds left. There's like these little pockets of road. Let's search down here. I got the 2000s. Jesus, you guys. Hmm. Nothing down here. Okay, we've ruled out that section. Go through the middle here. I'm seeing nothing. I think I've got an I like 66. It's got to be close. Well, fuck you. I hate your number system. You silly. Wow. You silly country. There, I said it. Wow, my score is awful. <laughs> uh, what's this say? Shared loss and the Oaks unit. Okay, that doesn't help me. Get me out into a road with a sign. This is the dumbest roundabout in the world. You should feel silly, Britain. That doesn't help me. Get me to a road. Like with... Come on. Thank you. Axe close, huh? I don't see any weapons here. Um, I feel like I'm going to get the highway this way. Or your dumb roundabouts. I'm just going to do circles. I need... Oh, wait, this is not going to tell me anything other than... Okay. We're going to get to a bigger road. More fucking around. You guys. Let's, let's dial it back with the roundabouts, huh? Okay, we've got... Nothing helps me here. Is Areva like your taxi system here? I'm seeing a lot of Arivas. Bedford, the A6. Where is the A6? Found the A1. Where's your steak sauce? <laughs> A9 seems to go quite a ways. A6. Okay. Bedford. Is the A6 and the M6 like... I'm not seeing A6 anywhere else. Or did you like... Oh, you do go down here. Fuck. I'm going to keep following the M6 to see if it goes into A6 anywhere else. Stafford. Very hard to follow you, highway. Now you're going diagonal. Okay, we got... Okay, you switched the A14. All right. So let's go back up here. 
to the A6, which was like up here. Yes, okay. A6 starts up here, potentially even higher up. The A7. I'm just getting my, I guess, footing. Okay, we've got a start and end, it looks like. And look for a Bedford. I mean, I can tell you where Bedford is in Massachusetts. But I'm not seeing it here. Chorley, Bolton, Farnworth. I mean, I'm getting disoriented here. My phone, please. So, M6. I do not see Bedford anywhere. We do end here. I feel Bedford is small enough. Are you like a suburb of, like, Manchester or something? I'm just... Bishop's move, that doesn't help me. I need, like, okay, this is, this potentially, you fucking bus. Thank you. All right. Three horseshoes. We're near the M1. Shit. I am running out of time. Where's the M1? Okay, we're like M6, M1. We are connecting here. Stoddington, Dunstable. Why is my phone going nuts? You gotta, you gotta dial back. Uh, I'm gonna look real quick. Is somebody dead? No. Pardon me. I'm just, I, I've, I've conceded. Okay, I wasn't that far off, but points are just awful. I don't know my Britain when the Britain points get to Super Britain, but I challenge any of you to know where, okay, now I'm just like, the fuck is this? Willard's house? Is this, I don't know if I want to go to Willard's house. Okay. Staining. Broomer's Hill? Storrington, uh, A283, fuck me. I'm going to find like 284 again because that is how my luck turns out. Yeah, this is not helpful. It is not helpful. All right, anyway. The white horse, what's this say? Car park, huh? Um, the white horse. Is this like a fancy, fancy pants place? We got turtles on wheels. Traditional ales. Delicious hot and cold food. What was this again? The two what? 283. A29 London. So we are near Lone Dome. 283. Where are we? The A29. Can I find A29? Twenty-one, twenty-two, two hundred and seventeen. <laughs> Got A30. Come on. Reveal yourself to me. I'm going to click like here, but it's probably not anywhere near. Like, this feels too rural to uh, be that. I already know that my score is going to be awful. I've resigned myself to that. Uh, I am surprised I got over a thousand. What the fuck? Two, two eighty? Is it eighty three? Yes, it is. It'd be funny if I'm just like this is like the most iconic place in southeastern Britain. For all I know, they're like, oh no, that place is shite. Does anybody live here, or is it just like uh, we painted the side of this building, but no one ever goes in it? 283, where are you? Like, for some reason, I feel it's around here, but I've got, I got nothing. This is like too developed, and Heathrow's right there, so we're not near Heathrow. Where is 29? Why don't you follow normal road construction, like, sense? 29. 
26, 25. That's my only takeaway so far is you just got Silly Road. 27. 27. Uh, I feel like this is potentially 31. Where is it? 35. Silly, silly Brits. We like here in the Isle of Wight. 28. Then we got 28 over here. I had 10 seconds, and I'm not finding 28, 28, 299. That's, that's not the same. I'm going to click over here because I feel like it's that. This feels way less developed in this part. Oh. Show me 29. I see it nowhere here. This is under protest. Whatever. That is a weird mishmash in numbers. And there we are. We made it another week. You did too. Uh, again, thank you all for watching. If you have any other comments, thoughts, suggestions for other maps, or anything else you want me to try, leave them in the comments below. I will get to them at some point. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Come back on Monday when I do another map. Have a good weekend. Uh, we'll see you soon. Goodbye.